instrumented tests, why use them? We should be using instrumented tests because they test the underlying Android features within Android. When you don't use instrumented tests, you're only testing methods like Makito, for example, it tests interfaces and it mocks classes. So with instrumented tests, you can actually test the user input and what the user pretty much does. And you can do this with a library like Espresso. For example, there are many others, but I would prefer Espresso. Espresso is pretty much made by, by Android, by Google. So the main things that you can test are like camera, button clicks. You can test um, edit texts, login fields, um, networking. You can test image libraries from Android that like Glide, for example, that loads images into list views and recycler views. You can test if they're working correctly. You can test um, our recycler views to see if, um, when you click a button to test if it goes to another fragment, for example. You can't really do that with Marquito and everything because they can't test user input and it can't test fragments because that's an Android feature. Marquito is specifically only Java and you can't test anything with Android to a large extent with only Mockito and JUnit. And you kind of want all your tests to be automated. You um, you don't want to be clicking buttons and testing your own feature by hand because that's it takes a lot of time and someone has to do it. It takes money to do that. It may take an entire day to test your app. For example, testing the entire Instagram app, you have to like each you have to like, you have to test the liking feature, the favorite feature, you have to upload an image, you have to use every single filter to see if every single one works, you have to sign up for a user, you have to um, delete a user, you have to make sure everything works, and with testing, you can test all of that with a click of a button and have the computer do all the work.